All right, let's uh, move on to the Sunday games. First one, 1 p.m. This is a winner. Ravens minus three at the Titans. The total is, say, 53 and a half. Poor Stucky. Poor <laughs> Stucky, man. That, this guy is flying high, just giving takes, hot takes on Twitter, feeling good about his Ravens. He doesn't want to jinx them by – I'm afraid what he said. He went to Vegas, and that's why they lost or something last year to the Titans. Uh, Stucky, you can do whatever you want, buddy. I think the Ravens are probably going to lose this game. It's It's been profitable to me just fading Lamar in the playoffs. I I took a big dog with the Chargers the first year. Took a big dog last year with the Titans against them. And it's, it's annoying that it moved out to three and a half with the Titans because that would have been locked in for us. Now that it's down to three, I don't love it as much because now – it is going to start shifting you to the Ravens. I can joke that I think the Ravens are going to lose. It's just mainly value because this game is a coin flip. So now that it's down to three, it's still a coin flip. You're still at least getting the value on the Titans where even if the Ravens are up 10, do you ever do you ever feel really worried with the Titans? Like it seems like Tannehill can get the ball downfield and make these big plays with these receivers. So don't mind it when they're down. And when they're up, I feel even better because we have Derrick Henry carrying the ball for us. So. This is just a smart number. Again, a home dog. We love home dogs here. We, we have to take the plus three. By the way, I agree with you 100%. Uh, do you have a thought on the over? 53 and a half, 54? Uh, we have to take the over, right? I know it's an under game, like, because everyone's going to take the over. But I'm going to be so mad at myself if I take this under and it's 24 to 20 at halftime. I, and I'm just sitting there like, wh- why am I even messing with this? Because I... I I get burned on these unders sometimes in the playoffs because it is a little weird where you don't know some of these defenses, they can just get out dominated by offenses so easily in the playoffs. And it is a little worry where we had a season that was historical. I don't know if you saw the numbers. It was the most points scored ever in the NFL season, most touchdowns yeah. thrown, most rushing touchdowns, all of that. So it, it's hard to tell you to take an under with these two teams just have such potent offenses. So for me, I, I'm going to lean the over at this point. Have you decided what is our hornet's nest and what is our foxhole? Because we've only got two games left. And That's I know what, one, of them, one of them could be a completely like foxhole or hornet's nest game. The last one probably can't be. Uh, so yeah, I, would, I, we, I would say this is foxhole, right? The, the Titans? Yeah, we're, we're, we're literally going into battle together here. You like it better Unless as a hornet's feel, nest. Well, I, I do feel like we're going to be on the Bears, and I do feel like that's going to be the hornet's nest. So yeah. I just didn't know if we were going to go with the uh, Seahawks as the foxhole. But no, let's go with the uh, let's go with the Titans as our foxhole. We're in the foxhole. We are in the foxhole in Nashville. We are going with the Titans in minus three. That's what, let's do plus it. three. That's it's plus three, plus three, plus three. Just to, just to correct myself, Titans plus three. <laughs> I like that side. How could that not be the side? 